Welcome to the Full Tactical Range by Range Systems. I'm Bo Dobozinski, lead instructor for SEAL Mindset Training, and this is your Rifle Drill of the Week. This week's Rifle Drill of the Week is all about deployment. When we store these as a home defense tool inside of our house, we don't want to store it in such a way that it's in condition one. What condition one means is that there's a round in the chamber and there's a magazine in the well. The reason we don't store it that way is because of fire. If for some reason the house starts to catch on fire and that round cooks off in the chamber, well, now all of a sudden you have a potential runaway gun. This would be bad. Instead, we store it in condition three. So that would be magazine in the well, no round in the chamber. And when you go to pull this out of your quick access safe, because we're just not leaving this sitting around the house, if you have kids especially, that when you pull it out of the quick access safe, mounted on your wall or under your bed, you have to get this ready to engage by going through the deployment process. Deployment is the process of taking your equipment, which is in a state of not ready, to being in a state of readiness. Now, when we do this, our home defense kit for me is about four criteria. Could be a little different for you. We'll talk about that as we go. Piece number one is to get a round into the chamber. Now, again, we've not stored the rifles in condition one because of the fire risk. So if we do condition three, that's rounds in the magazine, magazine in the well, nothing inside of my chamber, I would simply pick up the rifle, tap the magazine, rack the bolt. The rifle is now ready to go. If you choose to store it without the magazine in the rifle, well, then you just add the insertion of the magazine, racking of the bolt, and now your rifle is ready to go. So that's criteria number one. Criteria number two is to turn on any of your optics. Now, some optics have batteries that require them to be turned on or turned off. If your particular optic requires that, part of your deployment process is to turn that on. Now, there are lots of great optics out there that do not require you to turn them on or turn it off. This, for example, is a J-Point by JP Enterprises. This one runs all the time and it runs for years. So I need to change the battery on this every couple of years. No big deal, it's running all the time. And so I never have to worry about turning this on in going in the deployment of the rifle. Different reflex sites, really good red dot optics have the same capabilities. And so you might look at those. And of course, if you're using iron sights, they're always on too. Third criteria would be to input my sling, put the sling on. That sling allows the rifle to be harder to take away from me. So it's harder for someone to pull this rifle away from me if I get into a grab situation. It also gives me extra support and stability for transitioning between uh, weapon systems and for making precision shots. The last criteria is putting on my kit. Now, not everybody's gonna have home defense kit. I choose to use home defense kit, and kit can be a lot of different things. It could be a minimalist setup where it's just take an extra magazine and throw it in your pocket and off you go. It could be that you're wearing your normal uh, concealed carry stuff and you happen to go deploy, well, hot dog, you got extra stuff off and run. I've seen people with whole chest rigs they put on as part of their deployment process. Whatever you choose to do, remember the key factor in all of this is that you practice preparing, putting into action that defensive kit. To make today's drill fairly simple, we're going to work just a couple of those categories of deployment. So I'm gonna set up my silhouette ballpark 20 feet, 25 feet away. Remember we're thinking home defense, room distances, biggest rooms in your house. And we're gonna set up the rifle facing down range on the ground. And we're gonna put it in the condition that we would find it inside of our quick access safes. So for me, I'm gonna be in condition three. That means magazine's gonna be in with rounds in the magazine, nothing in the chamber. We'll stand up behind it with the shot timer. On the shot timer buzzer, we're gonna to move to the rifle, pick it up, deploy it, so I'll put around into the chamber, put the sling over my neck, and then we will engage the target with a single shot, reset, assess, and 360 check, working on that good mount, and excellent shot placement through hold of sights. Remember that any defense plan is entirely based upon two things. One, thinking it through, and two, engaging in good, solid practice. If you don't practice doing this as close to how you're gonna fight it, it's just not gonna come out when it's time. Everything we do is based on neuroscience. And if you go and watch the home defense rifle, you'll see what I'm talking about with neuroscience. Everything is based on the brain. So work through this, take your time, do good practice, and we'll see you in the next Rifle Drill of the Week. Like what you saw? Subscribe to my YouTube channel and keep checking out the training blog for more tips and drills. If you'd like a PDF copy of this training drill, go to sealmindsettraining.com and to the PDF download section. There, type in the promo code, rifle drill number three.